Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about this stamping up trimmer that I purchased in the summer. I've been using it for a good few months now and really road tested it so I wanted to give my honest opinion and do a kind of little review on this product. I do like to try and do reviews on products that I've bought and let people know what I think. I try to be honest and fair um, but this isn't sponsored. I literally bought this with my money off my friend who is a demonstrator um and when i showed it on the channel i said i'd be back with a review and here we go so if you like review videos if you like haul videos if you like the odd tutorial please do hit subscribe it does help my channel grow and reach more people and if you enjoyed today's video please do give it a big thumbs up so this is the stamping up trimmer um stamping up isn't as big in the uk as it is in the us but you can get product over here and I was in the market for a new trimmer because I was sick to death of not being able to get the blades from my tonic trimmer. They would literally go out of stock and be out of stock for months. Now, if you're just doing the odd bit of paper craft, you could probably get by. But being on two design teams, my trimmers get used a lot. I also like to craft when I'm not doing design teamwork. I like to craft of an evening just to kind of chill. Um, and I need to be able to have blades. I don't think it's unreasonable to go, oh, my blade's blunt. I've run out. I need to buy some more and be able to get them. I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to expect in this day and age. And with my tonic trimmer, I just can't get the blades. They were literally nowhere. You could not get them. So I was like, right, the most important thing to me when I'm buying a trimmer is blade availability. And I was told that I could get blades for the Stampin' Up trimmer, which was great. So after a bit of research, this is what I bought. So this is a 12 by 12 trimmer. This arm pulls out, which I do quite like. I had got used to my other trimmer having another arm on the bottom, which clearly this one doesn't have. It hasn't impeded me that much, um, but ideally I would have liked to have this arm at the bottom as well, but it's fine. If you don't close that firmly, the arm kind of sticks up. See how it's not closed properly and it sticks up. So that's my only worry is that it could break. Um, this is in inches, which is what I work in. But when I bought it, I got this. This was free with it. This is a spare arm. And this one is in centimetres. You can see that. They, I believe, switch out pretty easily. I honestly haven't used this yet. Um, I haven't needed to. So it's just in a box, in the drawer, so that's, you know, fine. And my friend said if you put some paper down here, you can see the numbers a bit easier if you, like, glue a strip of paper behind there. I haven't done that. To be honest, I haven't used that measurement very much. Um, I think because of where it is, I kind of just use these top numbers and then you know score or cut this one here is a score tool i've used it a couple of times if i'm using and doing scoring i do grab my adorable scoreboard that's my go-to i love it i struggle to use anything else so this bit gets used very very infrequently but i just left it on there um, and this is the blade. Now this is very easy to switch out. This is my second one. I do need to put my third one on. Um, to switch it out, you just, there's a hole. I don't know if you can see. Just there. And you take it to that hole and then you can take it out. Somebody said that if you switch the blades around, they can last longer. Um, the blades, I think they've lasted longer than my tonic blades used to, if I'm honest. I managed to do, I think, two launches before it went blunt. 
might have been two and a half and then I put this one on I am really tight I do wait till they're proper frame before I change them and I have got my Tim Holtz rotary trimmer as a backup I still have spare blades from when I made the original purchase I'd asked Leslie to order me and send me some extra blades um I will probably before Christmas send her a message and get her to order me some more um I quite like this hole so it can hang if you were that way inclined excuse my dodgy nails um but mine just sits on top of a um storage bin that I have my um car blanks in so I don't need to use that but it's nice to have it in case I ever did decide to hang it on the wall if I ever get a craft room again that would be a nice thing to be able to do um one of the things I'm not keen on this arm can sometimes be a bit tricky like with my tonic one I was used to being able to flick it at the top as you can see it's quite stiff it doesn't just flick I think the best way to do it look even now I can't just it takes some doing so if I am to a deadline like I've got to get on the school run but I'm trying to get something done that can look it's not coming up it's a bit of a faff that's the, something I'm not massively keen on with this trimmer however I do like how wide this is because it's easier to hold the cardstock in place when you're cutting especially if you've got really small bits and you can obviously put some tape on here because this is this is smooth unlike the tonic one which had grooves in this is smooth so you can put tape on this hold the cardstock in place and trim so I quite like that feature this blade does occasionally come out which is really annoying or it doesn't come out but it kind of raises if I've come this way sometimes it gets through that hole and then it's slightly raised and when I go to go back it's like above the cardstock but it's probably user error if I'm honest um, it's nice and lightweight I do grab it all the time as a result of having this I haven't used my rotary trimmer massively yet I've grabbed it out a couple of times so I will have to make a conscious effort to use that which is probably a good thing for this review because that means I'm loving this and I'm using it more if that makes sense the fact that I'm not grabbing my rotary trimmer and as I said it was a backup and it was a birthday treat for my husband so um yeah, I still need to do a review on that, but I don't feel like I can do that yet because I haven't used it as much as I've used this. This I use every single day. I like how it's flat and can just slide under um, a tight space and under furniture. Like, I'm really space limited. So the fact I can just slide it under a um, bureau on my cardstock container like that a lot and then I can just grab it out easily now with my tonic trimmer I did used to use the numbers a bit more for cutting down to this feels quite far away over here so if I'm being really picky I would have preferred to have them maybe there and up here um you can see sort of and if you put the paper underneath it would probably work better but um yeah i haven't used this as much to cut apertures as i did my tonic one the other thing that i struggled with a bit while i was getting used to it was where the actual cut line was going to be because i mean you can see this track I know it's a bit obvious but when you've got cardstock in there and you're trying to make a margin or a border um yeah I just it was easier on the tonic one than this one but I kind of I'm used to it now um and it's a little bit easier I still make mistakes but it's probably just me the color if I'm honest 
I'm not loving the colour, but the colour is so far down my list of requirements that I can live with it. It would have been nice to have a pretty colour. Brown is just... It's not the vibe. I like bright colours. I love my adorable scoreboard. It's purple. Um, I like my cutting mat. It's purple. It would have been nice to have a nice pretty colour instead of brown. But as I said, that is like the least of my worries. I needed something functional. I needed something I could get blades for. I would recommend this. I really enjoy using it. It's really easy to use. I like the smooth surface. I like that the blades are readily available. I do like the width of the arm. There's a lot to like about this and it wasn't a bad price point either. I can't remember now how much I paid. But it wasn't expensive. It certainly wasn't as expensive as the tonic ones seem to be. So all in all, I am positive about this. I do like it. I am honest about what I don't like, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. If you do like stamping up stuff, whether it's the trimmer, you want blades, you want their inks, whatever, I will leave Leslie's details in the description box and she can order anything you do need. Um, but yeah, out of 10, I would probably give this an 8.5. I would recommend it over the tonic one and the woodwear one and, you know, all the other ones out there. I do think it's a nice bit of kit. And yeah, if you were new to paper crafting and you wanted a trimmer, this is the one that I would say go and get. You won't regret it. So that's it for my video today. I hope you have found this useful. If you weren't in the market for a trimmer and you were just stumbled across my video, thank you for listening to me rambling on. Let me know what you think of the trimmer and my review down in the comment section. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do hit that big red subscribe button. I will be back soon with more videos. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.